block sliding down an incline on an oil film. How to calculate the speed of the block. Hey dudes, where's the good professor? Looks like Professor Skeptic is late again. Do any of you dudes know what Skeptic's first name is, man? I do. I looked it up. It's Ignatius. Yes, Ignatius. But one time I heard Professor Simbala call him Iggy. Iggy. I think I would call him Iggy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's so funny? Nothing you would see as amusing, sir. Yeah, who has a question? I do. Can you explain the book's example about a block sliding down an inclined plane? We don't understand it. Yeah, I'll share a video about this. Here's the problem set up. We have a block sliding down an incline of angle phi along an oil film of thickness h. The surface area of the bottom of the block is a in contact with the oil. Oil viscosity is mu. We are to calculate the speed v of the block. To solve, we draw a free body diagram of the block. There's a weight W, which we split into two parts. There's a normal force N, the oil acting on the block. And there's a viscous force trying to slow down the block. Since V is constant, there's no acceleration. Newton's second law says that sigma F has to be zero. In the normal direction, this N must be balanced by W cosine phi. Let's call this equation one. In the tangential direction, the viscous force must be balanced by W sine phi. We'll call that equation two. Now let's take a close-up view of the oil film. Here's our magnifying glass. Tilt your head a little bit and you see this block moving at speed V, the oil thickness H. Tau is the shear stress acting on the bottom surface of the block. The no slip condition sets U equals zero at Y equals zero and U equal V at Y equal H. You can prove that the velocity profile is linear. So U is Y over H times V. For this simple linear velocity field, tau is mu du dy, which simplifies to mu V over H. And the viscous force is just tau times a, or mu v over h times a. We call this equation three. Now all we do is combine equation two, this equation, and three, this equation. So we get this. Simply solve for v. Our final equation is v is w a sine phi over mu a. This is our final solution for block speed v sliding down the incline. Thank you, sir. I understand it now. But wouldn't there be a moment or perk on the block? Yes, Mr. Nerdly, good observation. The net moment causes the block to tilt slightly until all the forces and moments balance. Then oil thickness H wouldn't be constant anymore, would it, dude? Uh, that's right. We'll deal with that complication later. And don't call me dude. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos.